now we will start angular momentum of a uh, rigid body now this angular momentum we see it for the uh, particles also same concept so angular momentum if you can remember that angular momentum was um, this equation for a particle so that is uh, linear momentum times the uh, distance of the rotation so if a if a object if, if a rigid body or if a particle rotates around an object around an axis the um, uh, product of uh, linear momentum which is mv times the distance is called angular momentum so for a rigid body now as we know the mass moment of inertia we can derive it a simplified equation so r mv now we know that v is omega r v is the linear velocity omega is the angular velocity angular velocity is radian over time okay so v is omega r and r is here then if we take the moment sorry mass out it is rm then the product the product will be omega m r square and we know that m r square is our mass moment of inertia where r is the uh, radius of the uh, rotation uh, if a if a mass uh, rotates around an around an axis uh, then mass times the radius square is the uh, mass moment of inertia okay then what we learned here we learned here that angular momentum is i omega last time we used uh, angular momentum is uh, mvr now we simplified it to i omega if we know the mass moment of inertia of, of a composite section or whatever irregular section if we know the i then we can find the mass moment of inertia uh, okay, another question maybe why we did not use this equation for a uh, for a particle because the reason was for a particle we did not know the mass moment of inertia. Now this is a rigid body. We are discussing the rigid body here. So for rigid body, mass moment of inertia is known. Okay, then what are the some terms for the um, angular mo momentum? Now again, this is this uh, revision from momentum from. Uh, particles or linear momentum there's nothing new here we know that angular velocity is angular distance over time then for a small distance we can do differentiation okay then finally we uh, we get um, omega is theta over t or theta is omega t the, all these equations are known this is the very basic now what is the omega omega is uh, is radian over time that means whatever the rotation so if we complete one one full cycle it is twice pi and then t t means time period uh, the time required for one full rotation so one full rotation means twice pi divided by t so sometimes we write express omega is 2 pi over t or 2 pi over n n means 1 over t n over n means 1 over t number of rotation in unit in unit time that means um, uh, 1 over t okay so if these are this is the same, a new equation we are seeing this time but again conceptually it is known to you omega is angular velocity angular distance over time so next a few example will clarify how to use these two equation for a, a angular momentum again what is angular momentum a is i omega i is mr square so the one example is here the mass of a metal is sphere is 6 gram it it is rotated uh, four times per second four times per second uh, by fastening it at the end of a thread of three meter length that means this is our radius of the rotation so what we are doing um, so we are uh, considering the metal sphere it's a small mass it is rotating around an uh, axis so what is my angular momentum uh, a is i omega uh, i is not known here so we can derive i is a mr square because we know this r this r is actually here is a radius of rotation radius of gyration because we are concentrating all the mass at a small point so mr square 2 pi n why 2 pi n because here my angular x velocity is not given directly it is mm, telling that four times per second so it is rotating four times per second that means per second it is it is rotating uh, four 
times twice pi. So four times per second. That means per second it is rotating four times. So total will be eight pi over. Uh, yes, four times two pi. That means eight pi. So per second it is rotating uh, eight pi. No, um, no, okay. Or simply you can use this equation. Two pi n is our omega. So two pi is here. N is the number of rotation per second. So we can use this. So then finally the product came this. Make sure you you know the unit mass is kilogram. Then red uh, it is radius is square. So beta is square and this is per second. Uh, this is per second. Radian per second. Radian we do not use it. So it is per second. Okay, similarly some other example here uh, you can practice uh, there is nothing new theory just the practice or how can you use those equations in different ways. So one example is here um, other example if I show it uh, here you can uh, practice this example there is nothing surprising uh, here. In the next topic is relationship between angular velocity and linear velocity. You saw this relationship relationship in for particle also. It is V equals omega times r. V equals omega times r. You saw that for rigid sorry for particles, the same equation is varied for rigid body. V equals omega r. V is linear velocity. Omega is angular velocity. So it is a revision. So there is an example here how to use this equation. So there is nothing, uh, nothing uh, surprising here. What is this? A particle revolves 120 times per minute. That means 120 times revolution per 60 seconds. Or simple, 2 revolution per second. 2 revolution per second. Uh, of a circular path of radius r. So radius is given, determine the real linear velocity. What is equation? V equals omega r. V is linear, omega is angular. Omega is 2 pi n. We know that omega is 2 pi n. So 2 pi n is uh, re revolution per second, which is 120 divided by 60 seconds. So 2, 2 here, and times your uh, radius. So there is nothing surprises. What is time period? Time period means time required for one full complete revolution. So one complete revolution, which is one over n. You saw that. Or um, uh, per second, it is taking uh, sorry two revolution per second. Two revolution per second. So my uh, uh, number of rotation is this two revolution per second. Then the inverse should be the time period the inverse should be the time period t is 1 over s that means uh, 0.5 second so it is taking 0.5 second for one complete uh, revolution similarly you can find angular velocity double uh, omega is 2 pi n as n is known you can just insert this value okay so again now ang angular acceleration you saw this expression earlier angular acceleration we express by alpha and linear acceleration we express by a a so here alpha alpha is omega by t that means alpha is angular velocity over time angular velocity over time or delta angular velocity divided by delta t change in angular velocity over change in time what is the relationship between linear, linear and angular acceleration Linear is A, angular is alpha. A is A equals alpha R. You saw that equation for uh, rigid part, sorry, uh, particles. Now we are applying this for uh, rigid body. It is A that equals uh, alpha R. It is the same equation you saw it for your particles. Now, uh, uh, other is a uh, torque or moment of a force. Torque or moment of a force when it, it produces some uh, rotation. So we will see, um, we saw that about this axis, if we apply a force, this, this body will rotate around this, uh, this axis. Then what can we derive? Uh, here moment is Rf. R means the distance f means the force and sin theta if there is any angle because the distance for moment should be the 
should be the perpendicular distance F, as we do not know the distance d we are using r r is sorry d is r sin theta so d is r sin theta uh, how do you know you can use the it as a triangle this time you can make a triangle here a say this is d whatever this triangle if you use this triangle uh, this is 90 degree then you can use uh, use the sine rule to find the value of d simply moment is force time perpendicular distance how to how to relate with torque now torque produces uh, torque produces angular rotation so torque m is i i alpha so torque is m is i alpha so it is for the angular rotation for this body we use torque as i alpha how to drive you can see this derivation here mm -hmm. moment is force time distance force is mr square um of how no sorry not mr square uh, force is mr times this here you can see here mr times this times this r it became r square so this portion uh, this portion is uh, is uh, angular acceleration and this portion is i uh, mass moment of inertia so better to mark this equation or this equation so that you can use it when you need it now there are some uh, some example here what is this example Red, radius of direction is given mass is given what is the mass moment of inertia mass moment of inertia is i r square now again this r is not normal radius it is the radius of gyration if we concentrate the whole mass in a very small uh, small point and then rotate it about a axis that is called um, radius of gyration so m time r square and then next question is asking what is the uh, magnitude of torque so we learn torque is i alpha so i is this alpha uh, is the angular um, acceler uh, angular excuse me angular ac acceleration so uh, we will stop um, uh, here so hopefully you understood how to use this equation if i go back very quickly so whatever equation we are finding from our uh, um, definition uh, please mark it for example m is i i alpha or b is omega r or a is alpha times r say here a is alpha times r this kind of equation so that when you need it uh, you can use it so um, we will stop uh, stop here in our next video we will start from kinetic e a kinetic energy uh, okay uh, thank you